Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, The Fragrance Wardrobe. This video was requested by one of my viewers and I thought it was such an amazing idea where I give you one fragrance for every occasion and you're basically set for life. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned, like and subscribe because I have a whole bunch of fragrances coming your way. This is going to be the women's edition. So we are going to start with the hot day fragrance and this is my top pick for a hot day. Uh, best for summer, like very versatile and anyone can wear it, very likable. And my pick is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noire Eau Fraiche. So this one is very, very light and fresh, but it has a note of pistachio and almond and almond blossom mixed together with cherry, some berries, and there's mild, mild uh, patchouli in here. And it's and some citruses. So there's bergamot and I believe lemon as well. It's so fresh. It's like it's like Sprite, but with pistachio. That pistachio note is so unique in here. It's so it's like it's not really like the original La Petite Hope Noir. This one is yeah, it's it's super fresh. It's amazing for work, for every day. The only issue with this one that I would say is it is not the greatest longevity. So you'll get only a few hours wear out of this and then you'll have to refresh. But it's a gorgeous fragrance. It's super refreshing and it, it'll be loved by everybody. So this is my top pick for a hot day. My hot night fragrance is... Serge Lutin Dature Noir. So it's, let me see if I can get a focus in here. This one is a beautiful tube rose. It's so sexy. It's warm. It, it brings me to a place in my mind, like on a warm beach, somewhere on vacation, drinking just the best pina colada. Not that this smells like a pina colada, but it just takes me there with the moonlight and just like a very sexy vibe with this. It's an amazing fragrance for a night out on a hot day. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's got a very mild coconut in here. For those who don't like tube rose, you probably won't like this, but I love tube rose and this is just it's quite versatile too, like it doesn't have to be for a hot day, but this is my top pick for a hot day and I've worn a lot of it already. I just got it this past summer and this is how much of it I've already worn. It's, it's gorgeous. It's so fresh but rich and sexy and perfect for a hot summer day. Night. Hot summer night. My next one is a cold day fragrance and my cold day fragrance has recently been Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez and this is my top pick because it is so versatile for a cold day. It's so, it's just musky, it's just a basic clean musk with some white florals, predominantly gardenia and it's so pretty, so feminine and it leaves just a beautiful veil of musk behind you as you walk by and in the office is totally office safe. This work, this works perfectly with my skin chemistry. It's so lovely. I had the roller ball only and I ended up getting a big bottle. Actually, a lady at my work, cause she knows how much I love this, actually donated this to me. So thank you, Anna, if you're watching. I love it so much. And this is my top pick for a cold day. For those of you who like musk, give this one a try. It's, it's inoffensive. It, it has a presence, but, um, it's not overpowering. I really, really like this. Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. I'm sorry that my camera's out of focus. My cold night. I've really been loving this and it's Burberry Her Intense. I have, I've just been in love with this fragrance. I got it recently and I, it's so cozy. Like this is my night fragrance because this is what I imagine is under a blanket snuggling and eating berries with whipped cream while it's snowing out on a cold, cold day and you're inside and you're warm by the fire. This doesn't smell like fireplace or anything like that, but it's so warm and cozy and I want my evenings to smell like this. And I love this. It's good for going out and it's good for staying in. It's lovely and rich. It's got a nice bed of resins and like a lovely benzwin in here. Uh, the berries in here are beautiful and creamy and 
It's so thick, but it's not too sweet. It is leaning gourmand, so it does smell a little bit like a dessert, but not too much so because I'm not a lover of gourmands, but this one I adore. So my top pick for a cold night is Burberry Her Intense, and this is a new release. My next is my Classy Formal, and I actually have two because Classy Formal can go either way. It can be a businessy Classy Formal, and it can be a fun Classy Formal like a wedding or just a night out, like, like a formal night out, like a gala. Uh, but if it's a work event and it's a Classy Formal professional event, my choice is Chanel Number no. 5 Low, and this one is just so effervescent and fresh with the citruses in here it's sparkling it has aldehydes and it has citruses and the aldehydes in here are soapy sparkling it gives it that sort of sense like like mineral water like sparkling water with lemon but it's so classy it's so elegant and sophisticated it's just beautiful. Like this is very, very classy. It's nothing like the original number five. I don't like the original number five, but I love the low version. And this has been my top pick for any sort of formal events that are professional. So this is my professional formal. And my, I guess, casual formal or recreational formal is Valentino Donna. And this one is so, it's a little bit sweet. It's so sexy. It's so elegant and it has this powderiness that's like a like a lipsticky kind of powdery smell, like a makeup smell. Yeah, this one is for someone who's completely dressed up, has their hair done, has their makeup done, wearing a beautiful dress, looking elegant and classy and feminine. This is really really nice. It almost has a, a little bit of a vibe of maybe a little bit of suede under there and it it adds the depth and it adds elegance to it and this is my uh, formal night out for something recreational, not, not professional. My next pick is an intimate, sensual and cuddly fragrance. And so this one is no surprise it's Guerlain Mon Guerlain, and this is the original Mon Guerlain. It's, it's a cozy lavender and vanilla, and it's so welcoming and inviting, and I know that people love this. Men love this on a woman. It smells very... It smells very comfortable. It's very inviting and that's why it's my cuddly choice because this is one that you want to wear with someone that you're very close with and you want them to have that association of, oh, this is my person wearing this fragrance. A lot of men want to sm smell this on their wife and just your, your forever partner. So this is that very, very comfortable, warm, cozy fragrance. The lavender is soothing. The vanilla is sexy and smooth and you really can't go wrong with this one. It's, it's the best. It's the best for cuddling. My seductive classy fragrance is Pure Poison Elixir by Dior. It's a very classy, elegant, white floral. It's very sexy. It's very seductive and so unique i the only problem with this one is i hate this atomizer like it doesn't look at this it sucks it doesn't spray well at all but it smells beautiful this is this smells like dior pure poison before it was reformulated this is what it used to smell like and it's stunning it's so good uh it doesn't have that bubble gummy two bros vibe this is a much classier uh, white floral and it's so sexy and very very classy so this is my choice for a seductive classy date my clubbing choice is Dolce & Gabbana the one and I have the EDT I prefer the EDT over the Eau de Parfum the EDT is lighter it's not as dense and heavy. The Eau de Parfum gives me a headache. It's too thick and syrupy. This one is lighter. I love the lily in here. It's mostly lily, a beautiful bright lily with peach and vanilla. There's a lychee note in here that's just gorgeous. It adds a little bit of that tart sweetness, like just like a lychee is there. And it's really sexy. It's not 
super overpowering, but it's there and it's perfect for clubbing. It's just the right amount sweet. It's a little bit unique. It's fun. It's flirty. And I really recommend this for clubbing. I would wear this for sure. If you guys like something a little bit richer, heavier and sweeter, try the EDP. It's just not for me. I prefer the Eau de Toilette. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And finally, my bedtime fragrance. And my bedtime fragrance is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. And I only have the little mini spray. But this one is just a beautiful, musky, ambery fragrance. It's molecule based. I believe it has Ambroxan in it. And it's just fresh and it smells a little bit woody. It smells very, very clean and just like a beautiful aura around you. It's not overpowering. It doesn't smell super fragrancy and I don't want to smell super fragrancy before bed. I don't want to feel like I've drenched myself in perfume or anything that'll bother me. This just makes me feel clean and fresh and sexy and it leaves a really nice bubble, like a fresh, clean bubble around you that just makes you smell like, like you smell good, like it's you inherently and not a fragrance that you're wearing. And I adore this. It's so good. So that's Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. The other thing that's amazing with this one is you can layer it with anything and it'll make anything smell better. So if you guys haven't got your noses on it yet, do. It's so good. And my final choice is a versatile fragrance that I would go for to cover any of these. So my most versatile fragrance. And for me, it's Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I fell in love with this fragrance. It was close to the beginning of my fragrance journey when I discovered it. And I went into Sephora and I was asking the uh, sales assistant what kind of fragrance they have. That's like, I'm, I was looking for something fresh, not too woody, not citrusy, not anything like typical. I wanted something that was fresh, but unique. And she showed me Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt and I fell in love. Immediately I fell in love. I'd never smelled anything like it. It had just the right amount of sweetness, just the right amount of woodiness and it was fresh and it was just perfect. And it made me feel so complete. You know when you smell a fragrance and you're like, yes, this is the one. This is the one for me. For me, it was Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I could smell like that all day. The only problem with that one is that the longevity is horrendous and it doesn't project very far and the price point is way too high. So with that being said, after I ran out of my bottle, uh, my very expensive bottle that I went through very, very quickly, I needed, I started researching. I wanted to find a way that I could smell like Wood Sage and Sea Salt without having to buy wood sage and sea salt every month so i found some oil versions and they smell exactly the same so i'll show you them uh this one is from the fragrance shop so the fragrance shop oh what it's still out of focus eh there we go and it's wood sage and sea salt so this smells right on. This lasts me all day. It's such a gorgeous smell. It can be cuddly. It can be great for going out. It can be a cold day, a hot day, an evening, a daytime, whatever. I, I would wear this anytime. It's just so good. I love this one and I got this on the fragrance shop website and this is not even cheap. Like this oil I think is about $70. It's an American website they have really good quality fragrances they have really good quality oil fragrances if you guys are interested in oil fragrances or oil dupes or whatever let me know in the comments down below and i can do a video dedicated to that because i have so many and there are a lot of really really good brands and some not so good brands and i'd be happy to cover that for you if you're interested um yeah there's there's tons this is one of the better brands and i adore this i'm basically halfway done and the other one that I have that's less good, so the, the, that one, the, the fragrance shop, I save when I want, like, when I want to smell really good all day, and just, it's way better. The other one I have is from the Perfume People. This is a UK brand, and they have Wood Sage and Sea Salt as well. This one's not as good. It smells cheaper. It is cheaper. It doesn't last as long. I have to reapply it. Um, this, this one, I need a couple drops, and it lasts basically all day. The only problem is it doesn't have a roller. It's like this, it's a little dabber. 
So you just kind of bloop, bloop, and then that's it. But the roller ball, like I have to drench myself in this. It's not, it's not as good, but way cheaper. So I think this was like $10 and this was 70, but still this is definitely worth it. And they smell, I'm not even joking, 99% exactly the same. The, this one more so, the other one's probably about 90%, but an amazing alternative if you love a fragrance and it doesn't have lasting power or something or the price point's too high, there are alternatives out there, you guys. Just, just open up your minds and your hearts to something new. Um, and then alternatively, I have another versatile fragrance and this is kind of a cheat because I already talked about its original, but this is the Flanker Mongerlan Bloom of Rose. And this one just gives it that, the rose in here and the extra tonka bean just gives it that extra punch to elevate it and let it be more versatile. Where the original Mongerlan is more subtle, it's more cuddly, it's more just a very cozy, comfortable fragrance, very, very likable. This one just elevates it to the next level where you can wear it out, you can be sexy with it, you can be formal. It's good for daytime, spring, evening, daytime whatever in the winter time it's great too this one is, is perfect just as perfect as wood sage and sea salt i love this and i wear it just as frequently and those are all of my top picks that's my whole fragrance wardrobe i hope this helped you guys i hope you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe it would mean the world to me and i'll see you in the next one bye